Here is the record. It is a brief account of the event, but I listed the stolen articles in detail. has been recovered? Not as yet. Some of our faithful colonists have vowed to avenge this sacrilege, but I fear it is hopeless, for no one has yet found the slightest trace of the outlaws. They claim it was the hawk and his band of renegades, but no one has ever been able to identify this mysterious bandit. That is why he is called the Phantom of Santa Fe. wagon train comes in. Come down to the cantina and let me know. See, si, senor Gamba. Did you hit him, Kilbane? No. He creased me in the shoulder and knocked me off the horse. But tie a rope to this, everyone. I am the only hombre that ever got a good look at that mysterious Mr. Hawk. And if I ever see him again, I'll show him. A fine bunch of gunmen I've got working for me. Kel. Yeah, if you ever got in shooting range of it. Well, boss, I... Well... <laughs> I pay for results, not excuses. You've let that outlaw escape too often, Kilbane. I want the hawk, and I want him dead or alive. And the man who delivers him to me can name his own reward. If you can't do it, Kilbane, I'll find someone else who can. Must it be a man who captures the hawk, senor? Man, woman, or child, it's all the same to me, Lola. There he is. There who is? Senor Morago. Senor Morago the devil. It's the hawk. The phantom of Santa Fe. I ought to know. It's only this morning I saw him. Him, the hawk? <laughs> <laughs> is someone joking about me? Can you imagine that, Lola? <laughs> In your mic, the hawk. <laughs> the hawk, I tell you. I know what I'm talking about. It's the hawk. <laughs> Are you crazy? Senor Mike was at the Bellotti at the end all this afternoon. I saw him there myself. How could he be in two places at the same time? 
Senor Gant, I thank you for the hawk. What do you mean, for the hawk? Well, I'm sure the hawk would feel very badly if I were to be killed. Hey, Gant, come over here a minute. Jose, hey. drinks for the house. Hey, this man mistaking me for that famous bandito. It is a very great honor. Let us hope the hawk does not hear of this. Perhaps he would be insulted, eh? Come, everyone, drink to my health. Miguel, I think you are a very misunderstood man. Lolita, I think you are a very smart woman. Gracias. Miguel, have you a twin brother? Another being? So unfortunate as to resemble me? <laughs> no. Kilbane is no fool. He swears the hawk looks like you. How do you account for that? Well, why are you so interested in this mysterious bandit? Gant has offered to pay any reward asked for his capture, dead or alive. I heard the offer. I want that reward more than I ever wanted anything in my life. With the hawk in my hands, I could... Well, I could ask what I want from God. Supposing you had that bandit right here, in this room, this very moment, what would you demand from Senor Gant? Marriage. At once. With him. Oh? Lolita, you're a clever woman. And yet... Senor Gant is forever lost to you. Now that you are seeking him, it is rather too late to become what you might have been.
It's the hawk. Get going. There is nothing we want in those wagons, master. Then you will take two prisoners. I will question them later. See, si, master. We have a hard task ahead of us today, my noble one. Come on, you two men. Get on those horses. Pronto. and his soldiers. Men, his soldiers, take the two prisoners to the rendezvous. We'll spread out on the mesa and I'll draw the soldiers out <laughs>
your gun. Sorry, I am late. It makes no difference. As you see, my daughter Teresa is late also. She is always late. By the way, Senor Carlos, I am increasing Teresa's dowry. Your consent to our marriage was dowry enough, Don Carlos. Consent? Consent? <laughs> Why, my boy, I had you picked for my son-in-law long before you ever met Teresa. And she is very, very happy over this marriage. She can hardly wait for tomorrow to come. It will be a magnificent affair. I have arranged everything. I won't. I won't. I won't. I... You will not want. <laughs> Excuse me, senor. Teresa, would you disobey your father? Yes. I go to him. Man to man. And I look at him straight in the eye and say, Papa, I am sorry, but I am in love with Miguel Murabo. And I will not marry Senor Gant. Teresa! How dare you talk such foolishness? Come down to the patio at once. Do not keep Senor Gant waiting any longer. I will not permit it. Oh, please, Senor Bellardi, do not be angry. Stop meddling. Bring her down to the patio at once. Oh, such a child. Oh, you must not be alarmed, senor. She is but a child who knows not her own mind. Yeah, I quite understand, senor Bellardi, but... Uh... Miguel Morago? Oh. Teresa is not in love with that loafer. Besides, look at him. Almost sundown, and he is yet asleep. Do you think I would allow Teresa to marry that good for nothing? All he does is sleep, eat my food, Drink my good wine. For eight months I have asked him, when do you go home, Miguel? And he says, manana. Oh. <laughs> See, your mic's rule of life seems, never do anything today that you can put off until tomorrow. Oh, that Miguel Morago. <laughs> Every single thing about him annoys me. He's on Rubio. Please, please. Hello, Captain Rubio. Senor Valar. Senorita, Senor Gant, I bring you disturbing news. The Hawk? My freight outfit from Mexico? Exactly. For some reason, he seems to have picked you for his special victim. And as usual, I suppose he showed you and your rallies a clean pair of heels. I'm sorry to have to admit it, but he did. Quick, Senor Morago. Well, home again, Chico. Shh. Captain Rubio is below with Senor Valadi. I know, Chico. It was a close call. And you might find it very difficult to throw them off the trail this time. What about the wagon train, Master? Did you find anything? Unfortunately, nothing. We. Wait a minute, Chico. What? <laughs> you must be more careful, Chico. You know, you lose your mustache, and I lose my head. And that would be very, very sad for you too, Chico. You then no longer could eat the good food and drink the good wines of Senor Velarde. And I would no longer be able to serenade the beautiful Senorita Teresa. By the way, Chico, was the Americano around here today to court my beloved? Yes, Master. He is here right now, talking about you with Capitan Rubio. Chico, does anyone know I have been away? No, Master. I took good care to have them see me on the balcony in your clothes. You are priceless, Chico. Why, only for you, they would have suspected me long ago. Ah, there. Chico becomes the hawk again. And the hawk becomes that worthless, good-for-nothing Miguel Morago. <laughs> I tell you that Phantom Outlaw cannot escape me much longer, Senor Gant. What makes you think so? 
I assure you that my rurales will pick up the trail, senor. Go with care, Chico, my friend. And unless you are unlucky enough to be caught, I will meet you tomorrow at the rendezvous. Adios. Adios. Do you really think Capitan Rubio can catch him? Well, if he does, I am. Capitan, still looking for that bandit? Yes, Miguel. Rubio claims he'll catch him by sundown. Let us hope the Capitan does not catch him. You know, there is much to be admired about that hombre. I do not think he is as bad as they say. What think you, Don Carlos? And what think you, Senor Gant? I don't think. <laughs> that is unfortunate for you. It will be unfortunate for the hawk if I ever meet him face to face. Yes? Senorita. Senor. Senor. Hasta luego. Uh, what's that? Until we meet again. <laughs> it is too bad your siesta was disturbed again. Don Carlos, you might be surprised if you knew just how little sleep I had. Ah. Miguel, I have given orders that you are to have no more intimate conversation with Teresa. I hope you understand. Si, senor. What shall we do? Teresa, I love you, Carita Mia. Mike, I love you too. Always. But if only you... Oh, I don't know. If... Teresa, why do you worry, my little one? Have I not promised that I would be yours forever? Don't you believe me? Miguel, when they ring again, tomorrow it will be too late. Then we part forever. But Teresa, I have vowed you shall never become the wife of Senor Gant. Oh, Mike, if you were only a man like the hawk, he would lift me onto his horse and carry me away with him to the hill. Teresa, what are you doing? Come here, this instant. Yes, Father, I'm coming. What's on your mind? Well, 
Did you ever notice, Gant, that the hawk never takes anything of value from our wagon trains when he raids them? I never thought of that. That's right. Gant, do you think that outlaw knows we've got that mission gold? I am almost positive of it. And you're still figuring on us moving it across the border while your wedding's going on? It's the best chance we'll ever have. That gold leaves on the wagon train for the States tomorrow. Hawk or no hawk. Come on. Stand up. Get over there. Get together. Move back, everybody. Move back. All right. Show back. Move back. Go on. Where is in your gun? Hmm. Who's Rubio caught? Senor Gant, I have the honor to present you with the hawk. You're quite sure this is the hawk? Positive. My men have not lost sight of him since he raided your wagons. This pay on the hawk? <laughs> she called the servant of Senor Mike. And you said your men never lost sight of him at any time? Well, maybe one time. Where again did you take up the trail? Near the hacienda of Senor Valardi. Ah, you may not be as crazy as I thought, Kilbane. We'll go and have a little talk with Chico's master. And this time, I'll bet we have the real hawk. Question the two prisoners, Master? Yes, but I smell frijoles. <laughs> <laughs> so first we eat, and then we question those two gringo prisoners. <laughs> Come on, you two. The master is ready to question you. Well, tell him to wait. I'm eating. Yeah, that's what I say, too, you enchilada eating pot hound. Get out! Uh, come on! Hey. Run over there! Come on! Hey. Sorry to disturb your meal, senores. Yeah, I'll bet you are. The horses, master? Yes. Pedro! The horses! Pronto! <laughs> now you... Where is Senor Gant, hidden the treasure, stolen from the Mission de Guadalupe? You save your breath, Andre. I ain't talking. How would you like to be tied to the back of those wild horses? Put him on the horse, master. Go ahead. Take him away. Aye. Go on. So long, partner. Come on, bring him here. All right, put him on this caballo. Next, senor. 
All right. Bring on your horse, neighbor. Take him away. Come on. On the triangle! Come on, Come on. Leave the horse. Are you sure you don't want to change your mind, senor? Pig, I'll kill you. Let him go. Let him go? All right, men. Untie him. Very well. Bring him here. Senor Gant is to be congratulated upon the loyalty of his men. Much obliged. Is that other gringo being picked up in the canyon safely? Si, senor. I obeyed your orders. Come on. Say, you're all right. Is there nothing more we can do? What now, Master? It is the end, I'm afraid, Ramirez. Either Senor Gant has been too smart for us, or we have been following the wrong trail. Then we go home, Master? Home. There is no home for us now. But what about the Senorita Velarde? I vowed I would not return without the sacred belongings of the church. But our quest has made us outlaws. Success would have brought us forgiveness. But as failures, there is a price on our heads. Yet I must go. The Rurales will hang you. But I go to keep my other vow. You go alone? Ben! Ben! I am going with the master to Santa Fe. He may be in great danger. You run out to the Mesa. Wait there for my signal. But look out for the soldiers. Your horses. Hurry! Hurry! Where do you go, Ramirez? Wherever you go, master. But I ride to keep a rendezvous with death. And I ride with you. Thanks, Ramirez. my faith in thee. I implore thee, deliver me from this unholy union. 
on him. When do we start north for the outfit, boss? Ten minutes after you see me leave for the mission. like an iceberg. you change your mind and come to the mission with me? A ghost at your wedding, Senor God? <laughs> no. Senor Mike, what are you doing here? Yesterday, Senor Mike. Today, the hawk. And you're a prisoner. Why? Wait. Lolita, you still have a chance to marry Senor Gunn. Remember, Lolita, no star is ever lost. You once have seen. 
My prisoner. The reward. Yes. Why are you doing this? Maybe for love. Who knows? Senorita Valardi? Wait. I have arranged everything. That must be Senor Gant at the door now. Come in, Senor Gant. What do you mean by sending me such a message? What message? That it was a matter of life or death. That you saw me alone before I went to the mission. I sent you no such word. Ramirez was my messenger. So it's a trap, eh? It is no trap. Senor Gant, I am absolutely alone. Gaunt, the hawk is my prisoner, and I give him to you. Padre Sarah is here, master. Padre, you are just in time to marry me. What is all this? Here is the hawk, and I am naming my own reward. Marriage with you, see. Ah, impossible. And why? How can I marry two women? You can't, my friend. That's why I am here. To see that you marry the right one. Steve Gunt. Do you hear those wagons? Well, what about it? Are you going to pay up like a gentleman? Answer me, yes or no? Well, then I will answer the questions about those wagons. You do not. Padre, my son. This is the man who led the raid on the Mission Guadalupe. Don't you understand? He's taken the treasure of the church. It's in one of his wagons, headed for the border. I'm going with it. Stand where you are and don't try to stop me. Stop. In the name of the Lord, stop.
Master, we found it. We found it at last. his horse and rode away into the hills. 